you doing this morning? It is so nice to see you all today. So I hope that you guys have been enjoying the new series that we're in. Do you remember what it's called? That's right. Try not to laugh. Ha 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 ha. How many of you guys like to laugh? I know I do. So last week, Mrs. Crozier gave you a challenge. Do you remember what it was? It was to draw Balaam's donkey and state why it's so important to obey Jesus. So we have a winner here, boys and girls, and I'm going to show you the winning entry. Here we go, boys and girls. Can you see it? It says, yeah, I love Jesus, so I'm going to obey him. So there we go. It's Balaam's donkey. And our winning entry is from Parker. Oh, wow. Parker from Parkway. How many of you guys remember Parker? We saw him last week. It was so nice to see him. So he is going to get a brand new water gun. It is going to be so fun. So he'll have a lot of fun with that. Well, today, boys and girls, we're going to talk about hope. How many of you guys know what the word hope means? Yeah, like we put, uh, like I put my hope in Jesus. And so today, we're going to talk about the importance of putting our hope in Jesus. I want you to learn that we can trust anything and everything with Jesus. We can. So, why don't you go get your Bibles, boys and girls, and we're going to turn to 1 Kings chapter 18, and we're going to read 22 to 39, and we're going to talk about a man whose name starts with an E. What do you think it is? Hmm? What do you think? Elijah! That's right! Elijah calls fire from heaven. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Fire from heaven, that sounds dangerous. So why don't you go get your Bibles and then actually you're going to read it with your family to do a family read and I'm going to summarize the story. Is that okay, boys and girls? And by the way, it's not good to play with fire or matches. You can get hurt, like really, really, really hurt. So we don't do that, do we, boys and girls? But let's see what Elijah's doing, calling fire from heaven. Oh, that sounds crazy. So, I want to summarize the story for you today, boys and girls. But I want you and your parents to open up your Bibles and read it together. I know I saw Mrs. Crozier and Mr. Crozier reading with the children the other day. And it was so nice to see families reading the Bible together. It is so very important, boys and girls. So, let's look at the story. The people of Israel had turned away from God and put their hope in a false God who could do nothing. Boys and girls, have you ever hoped in something that wasn't God? Maybe it was your toys or your friends. Maybe it was money. Who knows? So we know that it's not good to do those things, don't we, boys and girls? Elijah, remember we talked about Elijah. Elijah was the only one who remained devoted to God, meaning he trusted God and obeyed God with all that he had. The Israelites' faith in their false god went up in flames. And you're going to learn about that when you read it with your families. When Elijah called fire from heaven, then the people saw that God is the one true God and the only God to be trusted. And you guys are going to learn about that when you read the Bible story together with your families. You know, boys and girls, I want you to know that you need to put your trust in Jesus. Don't hope in things that are not from God. Okay, boys and girls? I know it can be tempted sometimes, but we need to put our hope in Jesus. All right, boys and girls. Well, before I leave today, do you remember what the memory verse is? Yeah, it's found in Job 8, verse 21. He will fill your mouths with laughter. Ha, 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 ha. Shouts of joy will come from your lips. All right, boys and girls, 
we have a special little visitor with our second challenge. So be sure to be doing the challenges, boys and girls. Mrs. Crozier has a lot of fun prizes that she would like to give away. But you have to do the challenge and you got to send it to her. Okay, boys and girls. And remember, we need to put our hope in God. Bye for now, boys and girls. See you next week. Have a good day. Hello there, boys and girls. It's nice to see all my Parkway little friends out there today. Have you guys been en enjoying the Try Not to Laugh series? Have you had a good time? Have you had a few laughs? Well, today Mrs. Crozier wanted me to bring you the second challenge. I heard that that old Parker fella, he won the first challenge. He's got this great big water gun. Pretty cool, boys and girls. So you better be tuning in and doing these challenges. So today, your challenge is to illustrate how Elijah calls fire from heaven. Wow, wasn't that a crazy story? Our God is so powerful and so big, it's crazy. So Mrs. Crozier wants you to draw a picture or use Play-Doh or paint or use objects around the house to illustrate how Elijah calls fire from heaven. Can you do that, boys and girls? Can you? I see you out there. Yeah, I like to play with matches, but you got to be careful. You start a big fire. That's not good, boys and girls. So, you know, why don't you illustrate this and send it to Mrs. Crozier. And her email address is crozierkrista at gmail.com. She would love to hear from you. Well, I better get going. I'm going to go do some sunbathing. You know, before the summer's out, I like to, to lay out in the sun and, you know, do those kinds of things. We will see you next week, boys and girls. Have a good day.